afternoon. Today is day eight in the 30 day challenge for 10K and it is going. I am so thrilled because last night I got some information on how to get to the top of Google ranking. And it was about a two hour webinar exclusively for our group. And I was so thrilled because the information was by far amazing. So now I'm going to be applying that. And then I was reading a blog of uh, Mark's this morning where he just made $4,000 in the last 24 hours. Really, he didn't do anything. They just did it. And then he earned that much. So that made me like, what? What? And then I was reading this book, The 4-Hour Work Week, because I want to have a business where I'd only have to work four hours and I could be traveling the world with my family and money still coming in. That is the ideal for me. I know I have to work a little bit, and, uh, and I'm using how to um, manage my time because there's a nine to five illusion in Parkinson's law. I'm reading it here, and it's saying specifically on how we, if we have, if we have eight hours to work, you will fill in the time with eight hours. If you have only four hours to work, you would only fill in the work for four hours. So, one thing I know is that when I was working nine to five. I was working nine to five, but in the mornings I would get up really early, do my thing. I would meditate, pray, all of that, and get the kids ready for school, make make help them get them get their lunches, and go go go. And then afterwards we take them home, and then there's supper, and and then get them ready for bed and read stories. By that time it's nine o'clock, and then it's like oh my god, I got to read for an hour. I got to do my training. I got to do my um, my blogging, all this stuff for my business. I had no time. Now I don't have to worry about that nine hour work week there, but it's like, now you got wasted time. Crap. And you're thinking and you're not being effective and efficient. So I had to get this book out and it says here, if you fill, if you have eight hours, you fill eight hours. If you have four hours, you have four hours. So good question in here said, if you had a heart attack and had to work two hours per day, what would you do? You only had two hours to get it done. Well, I make a list of all the things that I need to do. To do list, right? And then I would also do a to do not list, do not do, do not do list. And I would define the things that are giving me. Well, it says here twenty percent of the sources are causing eighty percent of your problems, and twenty percent of your sources are resulting in eighty percent of your happiness and outcome. So I'm gonna look at all those things and see how I can you know really be productive with the hours that I have because really honestly if I could just work three four hours a day and then enjoy the rest of the day with my family and do whatever I want that would be awesome and I was managing that last week and I now I get to have more time and it's like you fill in the time more you slow down doesn't work for me Anyways, I got to work on that. So if you don't have it, if you have a chance, 4-Hour Workweek by Timothy Ferris. Great book. It's going to teach you all the things. Oh, my goodness. He, there's some great stuff in here. You know, and how to, to not, you know, time wasters like email, Facebook. You know, nobody's on Facebook. All, all that stuff, right? So anyways, get it done. And if you're looking to learn how you can also make money doing something like this or get a blogging system just like this, you got to click the link below. Click the link below and find out and you'll, 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 you'll be so happy you did. Alrighty, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.